genre. So we have a horror and we have a thriller game. So, uh, so also we have two protagonists. We have Adam that moves in the late 70s. So we can, uh, you can see now that we are playing Adam. But also we have second protagonist. His name is Nicholas and he lives in the 19th century. Uh, so basically Adam moves to a new house that you can see now. Uh, and he finds an old diary written by Nicholas. Uh, so, so yeah, we have a mix of, of thriller and a horror. So, uh, so, so our game is heavily based on physics. So you can see how that uh, you can take some objects, you can rotate them, uh, move around. Uh, also, you can open uh, drawers, but uh, you just don't click on the, on the drawer to open them, but you need to grab them and, and push or pull to, to open the drawers. So also, uh, we, we, we want to focus uh, on the story. So because it's our primarily goal to have a very, very good story. So because this is an adventure game, it's not a shooter, it's not a racing game. So it's an adventure game, and we think that this game should have very, very good story. Because otherwise, it will be you know just jump scares and, and nothing more. So we know that other games have too many jump scares and they begin in darkness and that's it. So you can see. Uh, on the beginning that this game is a little bit different. We start in a bright, shiny day, uh, everything is calm and so on. So, um, yeah, so we, we heavily depend on the stories so because, uh, like I said, this is an adventure game, so we need, we need to have a good story. We spent like six or seven months on the story, then we started to build up the game around that, not the other way. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, uh, we need to, to find some objects, so also we have many mechanics so because there are a lot of lot of games for games that you just walk around and there are like walking simulators and we don't want to play. so this is a game so obviously you need to have some game in it because uh, well, I think if someone uh, wants to, to just look on the game they can go to a theater and watch a good movie not play you know a game when you when you go outside and read only now so we have many mechanics, we have the physics based... Uh, is it a puzzle game? Uh, this, uh, this is uh, a mix. So we have puzzles, but also we have some encounters that, that you can somehow fight or defend yourself. So, so yeah, this is uh, like the adventure games from the 90s. So we need to find an object, then you need to, to think, okay, where can I use it? Uh, then, then you can open something and go, go to the next level. So also we have uh, some harder puzzles because uh, I think that uh, so, some games have puzzles like this. So just uh, find four digits behind a painting and to open a door. I think that those are not puzzles. Those are just uh, finding uh, random numbers. So uh, here is uh, also our, one of our mechanics that you need to physically, like you see, uh, break the plan uh, with a crowbar and then we find uh, a box. So, to open the box, uh, you need to solve a puzzle. So this is uh, our first uh, puzzle uh, to, to make. So you have uh, a lock, and you need to know the, the combination. So uh, we have some uh, some objects on, on the box. You need to, to take them. So we have some old parchment, uh, and you, you you can rotate it. You can open this. So, so and. Uh, you have some hints on the right side, and also you have a hidden text. Uh, when you when you find where is the hidden text, it will reveal more information. Uh, how to how to solve uh, the puzzle? So also there is a computing device, and that's are all the information the player has. So now the player needs to think, okay, how can I use this uh, to track the the code? So uh, basically. The idea is that you, you find the text that says J equals C. So now you need to take the decrypting device uh, and you need to find where is J and put it above the C letter. So uh, we will find out the, the letter. Uh, uh, so now when you put those together, then there is a second part of, of the puzzle. So when you take a look at the parchment, there are some uh, differences in, the, in some letters. So we have M, which is a little bit lower, and we have some bigger letters. So yeah, you need to be a little bit closer to the, to the, to the screen to see, but I will uh, tell you the idea. So there are some bigger letters, and they are M, H, B, A, O. So you will, you will have those five letters, and uh, knowing that J 
equals C, you can find M uh, equals F, and so on and so forth. Then you know that uh, the password will be fake. So this is a little bit harder to handle than other games, but we think that uh, it should be uh, more natural for the, for the players uh, to solve a puzzle and not to find a diamond to put it in the oven to open a magic door behind you know, a wall. Because uh, we, we try to avoid uh, making some magic stuff in the game that doesn't make really sense, just only for him. So as you can see, now uh, Adam uh, found uh, the, that old uh, diary that I mentioned before, that was written by Nicholas, and we planned to the second, uh, second play. So now it begins uh, chapter 2, and we play as Nicholas. We can now see that the, the environment has changed, the, the, the setting has changed. Now we have a more, uh, more darker uh, color this at night. So also uh, we want to split the game so that when you play Adam, it is a little bit different story. And when you play Nicholas, there is also some differences in the story. So, so that, those are like two games in one, but they are somehow combined together. So. So it is like a book, when you read chapter 1 and you finish it, you want to know more, but then the, the book starts in chapter 2 with completely different characters and you don't know why, who is this uh, new guy and so on. And when you start to read more and more, you will see the similarities of, ah, okay, now I know why uh, there, no, there are so uh, many characters in the book. So um, also we have some differences uh, in the mechanics, so you can see that uh, we can uh, have a lamp that we need to gather resources. So because when you have a lamp, the, the fuel goes down and you will be in complete darkness. Uh, so also you have some matches that you can you can find to, to light in the, in the way. And so also not, not, not only we have the differences in, in the story, but uh, also in the environment and uh, also in the mechanics. So of course they need to be somehow uh, similar. So the player will know that this is the, the same game, a completely different one. Uh, but uh, we don't want that you feel, okay, I played uh, Adam, I played Nicholas, they are both uh, almost the same, uh, the same guys. So, so we want you to think about it. Uh, we have also, uh, of course, the, the main story, uh, but uh, when you when you find some, not only notes, but also some objects, you can know uh, more about the law. So, so you can, if you like to explore uh, a game, then you, it's, uh, it's uh, fantastic for you. So because you can find, uh, uh, like I said, not, not only papers, but there are some uh, stuff like a pipe or something that you can uh, take, uh, look around, and you will uh, find some hidden hidden text. And you, oh, okay, now I know something more about this. It is not crucial to finish the game, but it is some uh, extra extra thing. Uh, Also, we can, we can show with the, with the, with the 
context. So, uh, yeah, so you have you need to, to find it, uh, where it is hidden. So, uh, of course, this is now easy because you need to rotate only 180 degrees, but some will be more tricky, so you need to, to rotate to find where is the hidden message, so, so thoughts and so on. Uh, so, yeah, we, we try to put a uh, few mechanics to the game, as you can see, so not, not only a uh, walk, uh, but you, uh, yeah, you, you saw puzzles, you see some some uh, jump scares and so on. Uh, of course, it will be much, much better to play this alone with the headphones and in the dark room, alone, not with the crowded people, but uh, of course, there, there, are a lot, uh, there are a lot of sounds, music, so but we, we can feel uh, something here. Uh, that we have prepared, we, we took the first two because we think that 
the players should know more about the mechanics, uh, how to move, how to operate, how to take some objects and so on and so forth. So, so yeah, if you have any questions. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Layers of Fear. Yeah, 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 because uh, maybe it was also in a house, uh, oh, but yes. this game will not be about a haunted house. So we start in the same place, but then uh, one of the characters is going into one direction and the other in the other locations. So we will have some mix of a uh, few, few locations as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe because of the uh, layers of you we were in, in a house yeah. also. In, I think it was also 19th century or 18th yeah. century, so, so similar times. How much time does it take to get through the game once? Uh, we think that 4 to 5 hours should, should five be. Hours. So, so it's not, not so small number, so I think that most games are like, like less like 2 to 1 half hours, so it will be much much longer. Uh, but also we, we want to add some, some gameplay to it, not to just you know, make a speed, speed run. And so. Okay, thank you for okay. your...